Today I am here to give a short demonstration of BBO software. I'm going to use Chrome, here I am, and if you don't know how to get to BBO or you've forgotten, you can Google BBO and click the BridgeBase online link. I think we'll go full screen and click the Play Bridge Now. I'm assuming you've already done the sign up, but that's all. So at this point, if you didn't before, um, it should be showing your username and um, if you've uh, got the remember me ticked, it will probably show your password and you can just click log in and in you go. This username is a test account so that I don't have, you don't see all my real friends. Okay, This is the main BBO window. Bridgebase Online Home. It's divided into three main sections. Down here, where it's, there's a little chat button, is where you will see messages sent to you by other players. And here is where you type messages you want to send to other players or people at the table. And, and right. In addition, you have this area up here, which we'll go to quite, in quite a bit later. Uh, this takes you, gets you into um, uh, how to look at or how to play bridge. And th there are some featured areas. Right. Now back to the right hand side. When you first log in, you get a list of messages shown to you. Uh, but these are sort of a more like general notices, not personal necessarily to you. And here's the first structural thing that you might realize. You have four tabs messages people history account messages are already clicked and hence it's yellow hence it's yellow um, let's click on people right uh, and it says you haven't got any people because um, you don't it's not it's showing your friends here and we'll we'll do friends in a moment but along the top you now have a number of options you can click on the second column which shows the yellows now the yellows are people who in theory can help if you're stuck however they tend to be good players and they tend to be playing and therefore they often say sorry I'm busy now but that's what the yellows mean people who uh, can help you out um, stars as a list of people but anyone with a gold star has played for their country that only means well they're way better than anyone watching this video um, but it don't necessarily assume that they're, they're total world-class experts because some countries are small and the qualification to play for them isn't quite as great as it would be for the US or China so but basically gold stars are top players and you might like to watch them um, like um, search is how you can search for people you um, you can't quite remember their names. Uh, ignores well, uh, ignores are pl are players you have decided you don't like them. They were rude to you, so you put them on ignore, and they won't you won't get any of their messages. Right, back to this first column. We've uh, we've seen the basically the news type messages, uh, which come here and show you messages basically from BABO. And the interesting articles you can click click on them and read them. We've looked at people, and in a moment we'll look at history because that's where a hand you've been um, looking at or table looking at will show. But now we'll go to the account. This is where you administer your settings. Now, if you're a new player, you won't have much here. Um, as you see, I've put um, private and test user, uh, and you're asked to select a skill level. I would suggest that anyone who's recently joined. Uh, just puts in beginner. You may not be a beginner, but you're a beginner at BBO and therefore you'll make lots of little mistakes in operating the thing and people will assume if you're a good player you all, you know how to use the software. So call yourself a beginner. Novice is for people who this is their first or second lesson kind of thing. Um, select your country and um, you can um, put in information uh, that's the country and somewhere uh, 10 characters somewhere I'll oh, be right back show profile master points um, profile image you can 
add a add your picture here just like you can on lots of websites you don't have to or you can pick one from the stock pictures uh, they're not available at the moment let's go back so I suggest you would set beginner and come down and set your country uh, and it's, uh, this isn't United Kingdom here I believe they do England Even maybe there's a Great Britain but probably England and up here you can put in a summary of the system you play uh, alcohol, uh, alcohol. Well, and maybe if you play other obvious um, conventions maybe you actually do play RKC well you can go RKC and then 1430 to tell any partner that that's how you like to play it rather than 3014 right that's so uh, those are settings here under the settings tab remember we're under accounts we're under the settings tab there are a list of things you can change the animation do cards move um, where the tool goes um, you this software also works on mobile phones hence some of these things you'll think you don't necessarily need, you, need. Um, you can look through those and change them accordingly and to your th convention cards they they exist in the system I suggest new players um, or new users that don't worry about it deal archive um, this is where you can upload hands to BBO and then have them play on a table so someone can set some set hands upload them a group of people can get together on a teaching table and they can be played uh, they can also be played in certain little tournaments that's for that feature right let's go back to messages uh, there is the messages has three tabs here's the news messages that we're looking at uh, here are chats as an extension of the chats you get from here and here is mail in case people have, have, have sent you messages um, uh, that's where um, you will be si you can see them um, right back to the main features Play or watch bridge. If you've been if you've been shown the system, perhaps with some friends, and now you want to come back and try playing on your own, what should you do? Here's the answer. You come in, you click on casual, and you can either go and wa watch a game. So take me to any interesting table. So it'll take you to. Uh, or you can go list interesting tables and it will put up a list of tables uh, you see a lot of gold stars so these are people who you know these are top flight players and you can click on Zia, Zia Mahmood does play here but I don't suppose that it might be Zia quite quite uh, let's just we've got 41 let's click on there and you're now in watching this um, table now, at this point it sort of makes sense to come back to the settings although you can often get the, to, at, to them from other places and that is here um, hand diagram table option hand diagrams here is the the um, it's currently set to diagram if you click on hand diagrams that will change into um, newspaper layout or book layout which some people prefer, I definitely prefer because uh, it's easier to see the distributions if you want to change back you can go to um, picture, back to pictures of cards as this layout is called if you want to challenge yourself to following the play um, what you can do is you can choose to watch a particular player if we click here uh, right click on the name of a player you can go kibitz and just kibitz that one player so just click do that and now you are seeing just the hand from their point of view um, we notice that if we just uh, um, 
show all hands, go back to how it was. If, say, we wanted to play it fr uh, from the, this defender who will be defender and commits, notice that his hand will be turned round and the east will now be down the bottom. So you're, when you're kibitzing just one person, it turns around and lets you um, and shows you just that one hand. Uh, and again, let's do a comparison of uh, show hand um, of hand diagrams. That's what it looks like as a hand diagram. Home, oops, uh, casual. This interesting tables. Let's go back. Casual list interesting tables and where's he gone? Let's go join. Okay. I... Right, I'm yeah. So now as the cards are played, this is how they seem in that mode, and when we go uh, to uh, hand diagrams, go back to hand diagrams, back to pictures of cards, they look like this. You can see the previous trick by clicking on there, and it shows you the previous trick played through slowly. Um, right. okay. I think that's been relatively. I think that's relatively clear. You have animation here. Let me at this point to go to um, back to the uh, to your account over here. Uh, which and then back to settings because you've got four tabs really here and down here we've got animation I can we see it playing pictures of cards confirm bids auto singletons split screen animation you can turn off animation slider goes to gray and now they'll snap into place much faster let's, let's close, close that so now when the cards are played they should snap and not you not seeing the animation and we're just waiting for Zia to play his card so it snapped there and didn't, they snap in place. You may like the animation, you may not. Um, confirm bids and or, confirm bids and confirm cards. Let's just go back from here. Uh, stop so it doesn't distract us. Uh, back. Right. Confirm bids and confirm cards um, will give you a little checkbox uh, every time. Yes, I meant to do that. Yes, I meant to do that. I suggest you only do that that's really best for people who have um, a disability and sometimes and almost and can't be sure they've clicked the right card because you've got a, a judder in your hands or something. Um, the the etiquette is not to ask for undos, which you can get. Uh, the etiquette is not to ask for undos and, uh, unless they were um, and honestly honestly happened, but to always grant undoes. The, the people who I know grant undoes is normally all beginners grant undoes because they don't know what they do. They don't know what's going on and they understand. And so do all the experts. All the experts would always give anyone at their, their table an undo straight like that. Because they you know, that's what they do. It's only the middle players who, who don't want to lose um, who don't want to give any advantage who will re refuse. So best not to tr ask unless you really need to and um and always grant. That's the way. Keep friendly. That's the BBL motto. As I've been talking for over a quarter of an hour, I'm sure that's enough. If you have been, thank you for listening.